Hey down, this is Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Y'all, howdy first off. Today is a doozy. We have a Spanish news site talking about Jenny and V dating and I'll discuss that whole thing. And then we also have RM personally responding to dating rumors. There's a lot going on today. So hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, a teaspoon of merch and let's jump into it. The first thing that I want to talk about is this new site and what they posted. This is a new site. They're Chile based and all the news are written in Spanish for the most part. I think some have been in English, but lucky for you, I can read a little bit of Spanish. Now, before I get into all of that, I need to provide some backstory, the backest of stories, if you will. Tiang and Jenny have been accused of dating for such a long time, from the silly little moments in the award shows where they make eye contact or wear jewelry or whatever the silly quote unquote proof is. The only one that actually makes the slightest sense was when Tiang sang Love Sick Girls, one of Blackpink's songs, and that seemed to be the most real example. But I don't even have to tell you that singing someone's song doesn't mean you're dating them. And then all of these rumors were exaggerated when Tang opened his Instagram account and accidentally followed Jenny. This caused such a huge thing. The main issue was that because everyone already thought the two were dating and then seeing this made them really believe it was true. Even though when people initially thought the two were dating, that was not based on anything. Now back to this Spanish or Chilean news site. They posted on Instagram a photo of Jenny and V together on the street and it looked like a paparazzi photo. Both blinks and armies that love BTS and Blackpink are also very good at Photoshop. So they take two photos, in this case two paparazzi-like photos, of two people from different photos and mash it together. But they'll adjust the lighting and all that and it'll look so real. I mean, I can do a small bit of Photoshop. However, they'll do Photoshop where you can even see the hair flyaways and just every detail is perfect. And they'll do Lisa and Jungkook, Taeyang and Jenny, or whatever. Why? It's just for their fanfics and for fantasy satisfaction. It's hard because 99% of armies know that it's fake and a photoshopped picture. Well, underneath the photo of Jenny and V, the news site put a caption and basically talked about the previous dating rumor and V following her, which resulted in that rumor, and then went on to say that the two might appear in Squid Game season two. Jenny was technically on season one, first off. She was a part of the staff and she was even giving credit at the end of the show. So her appearing again in the credits for season two could be likely as well. And the last bit of the caption talked about how the two were recording stuff. Not together, but just recording. And then the caption ended with the most funny part, which is them asking what we think of the news and then writing, Happy April Fool's Day. I had to literally go and Google Translate to make sure it was actually April Fool's and that I didn't read that wrong, which I very much could still have read it wrong. First off, girl, it's okay to delete this. It's not too late. People have seen it, but not everyone. And second of all, it's December, about to be January. April is still months away. It's not the month of the fools yet. Why? Why? Why do this prank now? Of course, both fandoms from BTS and Blackpink are both so angry and mad over this news because apparently people who don't read the whole thing are going to believe it's true and attack the other members or specifically will get more hate for this. At least this is what people think will happen. In the defense of the news site, I think it's harmless to play a joke, especially if you clarify that it's a joke. The actions of a five-year-old that sits there on their computer or phone and sends death threats is not up to the fandom to try to prevent. You can't prevent stupid. And if people are stupid, you can't sit there and demand that a news site can't make a joke and a joke that is ongoing in the fandom anyway. Respond back to the five-year-olds and tell them to stop because this literally will never end unless the viewers of K-pop change their mentality. I'm not quite sure why the same people, let's say, that love a K-pop group will be so sensitive around dating rumors or whatever, but those same people who love an American group couldn't care less whether that American celebrity is dating. Can we fix that? That double standard isn't fair. And idols suffer a lot lot because of it. You have idols like Bobby from the group Icon who was scared and apologizing for getting married. And issues like this in the fandom is the number one reason why people don't want to get into K-pop. They hate being attacked for the smallest things that they say and I bet there's several people who liked BTS and then got attacked by ARMY and then said nope I'm out. And now they can't even listen to BTS because it reminds them of when they were bullied for a small thing they said. And of course I'm talking about people who actually haven't said anything wrong. Those who are racist probably deserve a response because I don't condone bullying at all, but if they're racist. There's 
been so many dating rumors as of late, as well as so many people sending death threats and attacking other idols. I have never seen this mass amount of hate just being thrown around as much as I've seen in the last few weeks. It's like these five-year-old K-pop fans will do anything, like anything. They will literally go so low to attack someone. There is literally nothing they won't call another idol if they hate them. And they only hate the other idol because of dating rumors. Newsflash, dating someone is not the same as murdering someone or anything like that. However, there's definitely a few idols that have done bad things and haven't gotten nearly as much hate as dating. It's so weird how many dating rumors come out around this time of year. I think everyone or every site is trying to be the next dispatch or upstage dispatch. If you don't know, dispatch is a very big Korean news site and they're the ones that expose couples every year. And they do so by allegedly stalking these idols or at least the images appear like they are. They recently announced Jenny and G-Dragon from 2021, which would be quite the shock if they ended the year with Jenny and V. But I don't think that'll happen, but it's around this time that Dispatch will announce. So everyone is trying to predict or be the first to break a dating rumor before Dispatch does. But it's never who we expect. So I don't even know why we trust. RM has been in the middle of his own dating rumor. I think a lot of people thought that he was married and dating and even had children, but it looks like he completely addressed this and finally put it to rest. It was alleged recently after some videos that other channels have posted that RM was dating a non-celebrity and he was taking care of her dog. Other quote-unquote evidence is all from Instagram. Things like him and another girl at the museum together, which there's no real proof of that. The only thing that is both of them posted a photo at a museum and the girl captioned it as two of us, which could have just been a caption that she thought was cute or she was with her own date and RM posted the photo after he had left. I don't think he would risk posting while he was there because that would endanger his safety. And I guess this rumor got really big so Big Hit had to come out and address it themselves. Big Hit literally just put out one sentence statement just saying it's not true that RM is in a relationship. Dude, this must be so annoying. The PR team probably has so much work to do and then they wake up in the morning to these things and and then have to give a statement. As I said before, if Big Hit is taking legal action on those rumors, then they can't flat out address it in their usual fashion, which is a long paragraph, but they kept it short and sweet and to the point. This was probably one of the first times the rumor got so big that the members themselves actually went ahead and addressed it. RM put out his own statement. This was on Weverse and he said, ah, yes, I don't know that person whatsoever at all. And that poodle is my friend's poodle. And the way RM said it was so friendly and probably because the girl who was believed to be dating RM may have been getting some hate. I have no idea who the girl is. I'm sure she just wants to be left alone as she is a non-celebrity and all the news sites have blurred her username. Please don't go and find her. I would feel awful if she was getting hate at all for something that is simply not true. But like, I'll take a few death threats if that means people will think I'm dating RM. I should have showed up at the museum. It could have been me instead of this girl. I'm totally kidding. But I am worried for her mental health as it can be a lot. Pretty soon they'll probably close their DMs, if not already, the account was probably public and probably is now private, or they simply changed their username. Because even if she was someone who wanted attention or clout to become famous, this wouldn't be good attention anyway. Like there's no way for her to spin this and make it positive, is what I'm saying. This is a negative thing and there's nothing she can do. But hopefully since RM and Big Hit have both put out their statement, the attacks completely stopped. I am glad RM stepped up. It was definitely the right thing to do. Let me know what you think. And if you want to see a more K-pop reaction videos, go to my Patreon, link down below. I can't post them here due to copyright, but you can get all sorts of reaction videos and requests over there. It's a great way to support the channel even more if you would like to. Thank you so much for this lovely comment here. I love you so much. There'll be some videos that will pop up on screen at the end of this video and I will see you over there. Bye.